Conservative operatives Jacob Wall and Jack Berkman have been charged on um, a number of uh, election crimes, uh, which I'll detail for you in just a minute. These charges uh, were announced by the Michigan Attorney General, uh, Dana Nessel, who uh, mentioned the slew of charges having to do with robocalls that were organized uh, by these two. The robocalls were targeted toward um, minority voters, uh, many of whom reside in Michigan, Detroit specifically. And it spread all sorts of disinformation about mail-in ballots, alleging that the mail-in ballots were essentially going to be used against the voters and it was a violation of their privacy. Um, so the voice on the call attributed to Wallen Berkman and their attempts to trick listeners into not sending in their mail-in ballots, falsely warning that the information would be used to track fugitives, collect on credit card debts and enforce mandatory vaccines. The calls also told residents to beware of vote by mail. So they were doing everything they can to suppress the vote and to scare voters away from voting by mail. And so the charges, they're both facing four felony counts and 24 years in prison. That's the maximum sentence and it's for violating election laws in the state of Michigan. Okay, so my first reaction to this is finally, I mean, we have asked about on half a dozen wildly illegal schemes these two have done. Why haven't they been arrested yet? I mean, do you write this though? Are there any laws that apply to the right wing at all? Will they ever be enforced? So finally, somebody said, Enough is enough. They're, it's, they're apparently doing this scheme not just in Michigan, but across the country. About 85,000 calls have gone out. Um, in this case, they say all the calls, according to the Daily Beast, they said were made to residents in quote, urban areas with significant minority populations, according to the Michigan Attorney General. Now, get a load of what these clowns said. Um, so they have all of these uh, false information that Anna told you, including comical things like, Mandatory vaccines, but mainly scaring people about credit card debt. And look at their assumptions about minorities, by the way. Or and the, and you're going to get arrested, etc. But my favorite line was this one: "Don't be BS into giving your private information to the man." Oh God, you guys are embarrassing, man. I mean, they, because these idiots think, oh, that's how black people talk. Oh, don't do it, man. Oh, and how do they get caught? That clown Berkman, he had the robocalls attached to his personal cell phone number. They're I know, so it's amazing. dumb. They're the dumbest okay. people in the world. They really are. It's amazing how dumb they are. So Berkman denied being behind the robocall, claiming it was suspicious that it was connected to his personal cell phone number. And he said no one in their right mind would put their own cell on a robocall. No, no, but you guys would. I mean, they've done so, they've gotten caught with so many ridiculous stunts, including attempting to incriminate various people like Comey, for instance, by offering to pay women to drum up fake allegations of sexual misconduct against them. The women who were contacted by them spoke to the press and they're like, yeah, we're. We're not going to do that. That's ridiculous. And I don't remember the exact context in which Jacob Wall was pretending to be a security guard by using Apple AirPods, but it was hilarious. I mean, he's he's a joke. He's a clown, and he's been you know, in trouble over and over again for these types of stunts. And let me let me just clarify: it wasn't what Wall was speaking. He got like this four foot dude to stand behind him with an iPod piece. And pretending to be like, that. like almost like Secret Service, right? And it was just one of the funniest sights we've <laughs> ever <good>. seen. <laughs> uh, and and then remember, like Bergman is saying, like who would attach their own number to a robocall, thereby making it easy to get caught. When one of their first schemes, they got caught because they had set up a dummy corporation, which is a fitting title in this case, uh, and it got tracked back to Jacob Wall's mom's house. <laughs> These are the world's worst criminals. By the way, this is serious stuff. You're doing it illegal is. voter suppression. I know we're used to the Republican Party doing it on a mass scale, but it, this form of it is not legal. And it carries a 24 year maximum sentence. So I don't see any reason why the authorities 
should let up on these guys at all. They, after all the law breaking that they have done, can we finally get some justice? Thanks for watching The Young Turks, really appreciate it. Another way to show support is through YouTube memberships. You'll get to interact with us more. There's live chat emojis, badges. You've got emojis of me, Anna, John, JR. So those are super fun. But you also get playback of our exclusive member only shows and specials right after they air. So all that, all you gotta do is click that join button right underneath the video. Thank you.